Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Jermaine, interviews another creator and just talks about their journey thus far. Tonight, I have a special guest. I'm going to go ahead and read their bio so we can get started. Alakazam King is a tall, light-skinned individual in his 30s known as a Craig. He harbors a deep affection for his community, defining it as anyone who supports him. Life, to him, is a beautiful yet occasionally challenging journey, acknowledging that one can appreciate the good without experiencing the bad. His interests include immersing himself in RPGs, engaging in banter with his close friends, and championing the pursuits and dreams of those around him. Authenticity is key, and he takes pride in simply being himself. His heart is devoted to his lovely wife. He expresses his immense gratitude for her compassion over the past 13 years. While he occasionally questions why both his spouse and friends choose to align themselves with someone like him, he doesn't dwell on it. At the core, he seeks self-acceptance, aiming to be content with who he is at the beginning and end of each day, prioritizing personal fulfillment over acceptance of others. In essence, he's an everyday Craig navigating with a lighthearted approach. I, I, uh, what? Yeah, without further ado, I'd like to introduce my guest for the evening, King. Thank you for doing this. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me, dog. I'm fucking ecstatic to be here. This is gonna be a cool time. Hell yeah! I let uh. So if y'all didn't know, I let I took uh King's bio and I put it through Chat G, uh Chat GPT just because I wanted to see what that AI would do with it. It's something nice, and it it was pretty spot on. It just sounds it's all over the place. It was nice. It was nice. It was good. It was really good. <laughs> I don't have any concerns or fucking bothers with anything. Like that was good. That was nice. <laughs> Made you sound great. I was like, yo. Yeah. I mean, it, it sounds like you. That's the thing that I enjoyed about. I was yeah. like, all right, yeah. this is my guy. It literally does. Man, you know what? Let's, let's let me not hesitate. I get joy from learning where my friends started as far as content creation goes. And I have no idea how you got started. So, King, if you can do me the pleasure of letting me know how did your content creation journey aspirations begin? So the goofiest shit to me is how like the universe will throw shit at you. Mm -hmm. So I started because I was just looking at my laptop, this this goofy ass shit. So my laptop screen had broke. I took it over my cousin's and he had a screen that he had bought uh -huh. and fucking it didn't fit his actual laptop. So he's like, no, I got this motherfucker right here. And uh, it fit mine. It fit it perfectly. We had put it on motherfucking like a month or two afterwards. It broke like it fucking not because it just broke, broke. But the yeah. fucking laptop was on the side of her couch. I got up, knocked it over and that motherfucker broke. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, like, I was just pissed. I was like, whatever. Cool. It's, it is what it is. My homie Scott was selling his PC and it was a decent, like my homie Scott actually knows, like he, he said that was actually his job and shit, like electronics and fixing TVs, fixing computers. Mm -hmm. He built his own PC. He built his wife's PC and shit. Okay. And he was selling his wife's PC because he had updated his and he was giving her his old gaming PC. Right. And he was selling it for like 200 bucks, like everything, like the like fucking keyboard, mouse, fucking speakers and shit like that. Uh, the monitor too, for just 200 bucks. And he let us That's homies crazy. know. Right? Like he let us homies know. <laughs> he even mentioned like, you know, if you wanted to stream with it, you could. Like this is actually one of them PCs, but you ain't got to. Motherfucking, sorry for all the cussing. But uh, <laughs> no, you good. That's the unfiltered part. I enjoy when motherfuckers curse. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry because like I'm so and people just get uncomfortable when I do that. But uh, nah, nah, you good, man. So excuse me, freaking uh, he like I I was like, well, who cares? Like after it happened, well, when it broke, I didn't. I honestly wasn't even stressed. I was more so mad that it broke and cracked. Right. And I was like, this is so goddamn jank. And it was like <laughs> <laughs> after the second day, I was like, yo. Scott's still selling his shit. So I hit him up about it. He came through. He he literally came by my house. He was about to start hooking it up. I was like, you ain't got to do all that. <laughs> like, Damn. You ain't got to start hooking $200? it up. $200? Yeah, but $200, bro. Pulled out the monitor, pulled out everything. And he was like, yo, if you got anything that's wrong with it, hit me up. I'll come by. I'll fix it and shit. He had a, uh, like a, I can't remember what it's called, but the internal hard drive he had was and top notch dog and Man. that's what that was really holding most of the load for the streaming mm -hmm. when i was doing it but he was like hooking it up and stuff and he was like before i stopped him like he was trying to hook it up like no yo but he's <laughs> like you can stream 
he's like, you know, you you can stream on this too. Like I never did it or anything. He's like, I kind of tried for a little bit, but then I fell off because his sons mm-hmm. and shit didn't want to keep up with it. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't, I ain't even think about that. But that like resonated <laughs> with me like that it resonated yeah. with me for the next couple of days because I just wanted to play League of Legends and shit like that. This is back when I was playing League. And uh, okay. I was like, well, I game literally every fucking day. And like, like, why not hop on streaming and shit like that? Like, why not do it? So mm-hmm. I started doing it because of that. Like I hopped on. My settings and shit weren't the best. I made sure to get my, I made sure to look up videos before I even started. I was looking up videos. I was looking up right. guides and stuff on like, you know, hey, well, this is what you should have. This is what you should do. This is good software. But then I also looked up people's like opinionated views. Like, hey, you know, make sure you're always talking, even if nobody's there. Right. Make sure you're always talking. Make sure that, you know, hey, you're comfortable, this and that. And then I looked internally on myself, keeping up with it, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But, it was just a funny ass coincidence. It, like I just happened to get a computer, my laptop and shit. And then I always gamed. I wanted to capture moments when I'm gaming. Like I did this dope ass shit. Can somebody, Hell yeah. this with- <laughs> can somebody see this <laughs> with me? Can somebody notice this? I just don't want to talk about it. I want it to be recorded and I want other people to see this. Like, it's not about, I wanted to make money and shit like that. I just wanted to mm-hmm. genuinely have a good ass time. It was just funny how that started. Like, what are the yeah. odds? What are the odds? That's like actually wow. Like because a laptop fucking broke, you were like, "All right, I'm I'm gonna start streaming now." Fuck it. <laughs> and had the oppor- <laughs> had the opportunity to had the decent software. Dog Tisha, my wife Tisha, fucking yeah. built this makeshift ass desk for me with like <laughs> a old cassette fucking VHS holder fucking yeah. styrofoam a fucking oh countertop that wasn't used for the kitchen tables or kitchenette like oh my god yeah. she literally formed something that stable dope. it was so dope like i came home and Man. i was like what is this <laughs> she's like i got you here's your desk it was it was amazing <laughs> it was it was so amazing do you still have this desk no hell no we took everything apart and now i got an official okay. desk she bought All me right. a desk so she bought me a desk set that up before i even came home from work and then now i got this official last desk that i got because the one desk that i had was too small for me like i'm i'm like over six foot so got what hold on i didn't know that you were you're you're part of the tall club i didn't realize <laughs> yeah that. i'm like six four for real <laughs> i'm tall as fuck uh, Damn, I can't I can't believe that. Like that's gonna blow my mind whenever we finally link up, man. <laughs> hey, I'm going to DreamCon. I need homies who's going. I know I need to I need to figure that out. Cause no, no, like no, that no. seems like everybody's going to that bitch. I just wanna go I just wanna meet up with homies. That's all I wanna do. Yeah. I'm just trying to... Same. Same. I'm gonna make homies work too. I'm like, hey, we're doing an interview. Just act chill. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that on the spot. Like I am such a good individual with that. Yeah, you know what? To segue into the next section, what's your current mindset in regards to like content you're creating now? What is your content you're doing now? What's the landscape looking like for you? I know you took a break a little bit there for a second, and I know you came back because that that stream was hype. But to uh, stop prolonging the question, <laughs> what does your current mindset feel like for you? Uh, for me, it's I'm in such a better mindset and stuff like that. Like when I started, I was focused on. I was when I very first started and we didn't have a furnace and everything like that, the makeshift fucking desk, even before the makeshift de- makeshift desk. And we was like, I was streaming from the, you could see me at the TV. I got, it's still on my stream. Like you can literally tell I can point shit out. That's like, yeah, we was struggling. Why do I have a hoodie on every time for these months? Cause we was cold in that bitch boy. Yeah. Like, uh, Damn. much better. I was on a yeah. five day, like, Every day, because I was streaming five days, every two hours type shit. But uh, Mm -hmm. it was, I could, it's the potential. I remember saying this to Tisha. It's the potential of meeting somebody new and just getting that one follow the next day. Like, it's always good to get up because I'm missing potential. I'm missing a nice moment or anything like that. So Mm -hmm. it after a while, though, that accumulates and kind of just builds up to working towards a job. And everybody talks about, I don't want to make this a job. Not everybody, but people who say that shit, it's nonsense to me when they motherfucking try to preach that shit to me. It doesn't make any sense. You're having a good time, but yet you're trying to make sure that this shit is okay and yada, yada, and that and that. And I'm not trying to stress about it. I'm not trying to do that. And I did that shit for like three, four years or something. 
And then I had mm -hmm. to take that. That year off was nice. That year off was needed. It was amazing. I was fucking, I'm in, like, yeah, I start tearing up thinking about it and shit. Cause it's like noticing how much I lost for, even before I started streaming, like how much I had lost of myself, like mm -hmm. genuinely enjoying gaming, genuinely right. having a good time with homies coming by, hopping on a game we enjoy, talking shit to each other, trolling mm -hmm. each other and stuff like that. Uh, today is in such a better space than even when I started. This is, I feel yeah. like this is, it would have been nice if I could have started streaming with how I am today. Because, right. Hell yeah. And I knew that I wouldn't know as much. I wouldn't get the vibes and stuff as shit as much. I said that to teach it like the first two months. Like, yo, yeah. I, I wish I could jump four years in the future and know what the fuck I'm going to learn mm -hmm. then now. But it's like, shit it wasn't even a compared to how i know and how i feel today because now it's right. like i don't i'm not stressing i'm not i don't yeah it's nice when homies come it's more than nice it is beautiful it's extravagant it's amazing yes when i'm starting stream and i got people already in chat saying stuff to me and chopping like chopping chopping it up and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> it's a nice ass thing it is it it makes me feel like i ain't shit but not <laughs> sorry i worded that wrong it makes me feel like i'm not shit like i'm not nothing like, or yeah, anything like exactly that. like i'm just talking to nobody and that doesn't even matter anyways i'm hopping on this because i'm having a good time like i just right i just want to connect and if it if i don't who gives a shit like i literally mm -hmm. i dead ass have that mindset in that feeling i'm not worried about what am i doing wrong i'm not worried about the grass is greener on the other side. My grass is cool, nigga. And whatever's <laughs> going on, like, whatever's wrong with the soil, I'll tend to it because that's what I should do. I should be focused on that shit. So, like, my stream and my content now is exactly how I want it to be when I first started. Mm -hmm. It's just hopping on gaming, chilling, watch videos if we do. Like, I, I start with just chatting, and I don't even get to start the game because I'm just having a fucking good-ass time. People pulling yeah. up to my house fucking just to chop it up with me and kick it and yes. shit and then they chill back they chill in the back and vibe with me when i'm gaming my content now is literally what i always wanted it to be it's not about i'm trying to make the de niro because i'm finally i'm in a financial cool ass spot like yeah it's not even any of that anymore it's just it's it's what i want it to be it's what gaming should be it's fucking having a good time with my people dog hell yeah dude that like that point of i wish i knew what i know now four years ago that's i've been feeling that for the last couple of months and to your point i'm in a spot where i'm making content that makes me happy that makes me laugh that makes like bring joy to me oh, yeah and i do not give a fuck if anybody doesn't like it like if people rock with it again that's yep. beautiful that's amazing but if not like i don't give a fuck i'm happy as shit right I, now so. i don't give a fuck about the next motherfucker i care about the ones that's with me and if they ain't with mm -hmm. me you know, I'm not pressured. I'm not bothered by it. You know, hey. right. That's that lesson itself. And I, I think once you learn that shit, like content, like even if you're not trying to make money off it, it becomes so much more enjoyable because there's no pressure at that point. You're just doing what you do because it's fun. That's the passion, the actual loving what you do. It means something. Exactly. That is dope. Though, no, listen. I, I knew this conversation was going to be dope because I <laughs> I've like we rocked with each other for a while, even if I'm not always in your stream and vice versa. Like we, there's just a connection between us. And I knew I was like, when you took that break and you came back, I was like, oh, this dude's different. Like, hold on. <laughs> I'm so much more comfortable, dog. I'm so much more comfortable in my skin. I really am. Hell yeah. I love that shit. And I love that you recognize it because a lot of us, like we go through some changes and we don't a recognize the change that has happened and champion that shit. Like, yeah, I changed motherfucker, and I feel better. I did. And what I didn't, it? it wasn't even like a change. This was always me. Like I realized what I lost. Gotcha. Yeah. Had to revert it back to his old self. Yep, up for years. I'm talking over a decade, bro. <laughs> Cause God damn. Oh, yeah. We, as a boy, I'm in my thirties. I'm talking like, I remember, boy, I, this is something that I lost. Man, 
Well, welcome back, goddammit. I appreciate that. <laughs> Next section, we're going to roll into, I think this would be a fun one. Lessons learned. These are the type of things that we have learned throughout the years of making content. Have you learned any lessons that you would be like, you know what? I can only have learned this because I started making content, because I started streaming, because I started cutting up videos. You no, know, something that I learned was being and like I said, this is words that we know and everybody who starts streaming, it's your own content, it's everything like that is mm -hmm. being okay with myself. And that was something that was already to my core before I even started streaming off stream, everything like that, my own personal life. Something I learned was truly being okay with yourself. You know, not, yeah. not trying to switch up, not trying to pander, not trying to drag in attention that I, I just, oh, well, this is getting the views. Like, no, right. like I learned more so about myself and i already kind of had that as an aspect like you, you know you're gonna get this and that or whatever but mm -hmm. i definitely learned more about myself seeing myself get treated certain ways not like not talking about like racism sexism nothing like that or nothing just seeing like how people would come in and try to like force their own agenda like yes. try to be like uh, definitely like oh whoa oh, 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 type shit <laughs> I, mm -hmm, like, yeah <laughs> like I'm not saying that that's bad or nothing like that or shit but fucking like i'm dog i'm from around the way g as denzel would say and anybody else yeah. like, I, I was raised different i was yes. raised very different and where we come from is very lower class i mm -hmm. like we was poor we ain't have certain shit when i came to this house we didn't have a working furnace for two years yeah, we right. almost had three years without it type shit. Like, I'm, why should I change up? And that's more so what I learned. It wasn't about, oh, well, content this and content that. No, nigga, I'm a, I'm content walking around. You content walking around type shit. Like, I, I picked up on that and I learned from that. Like, this is, it's me. It shouldn't be about everybody else. Yes, I, I'm not saying that the world revolves around me the universe is all this and i'm the center i'm not saying that because mm -hmm. i do acknowledge that there's other living things and everything else around me i'm just saying whenever you say something and anything else says something i'm gonna filter it and i am dead ass taking in what they say what it says mm -hmm. and what everyone says it's just what don't what i am not feeling and what i'm not fucking rocking with I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm not gonna let it be in my sandwich, nigga. Like exactly. Not, I don't fuck <laughs> with that taste to get it out my fucking yes. mouth. Like I'm not with it. And I'm it's not I'm trying to be an asshole or nothing like that. Yeah. I will be an asshole if I really don't fuck with it though. I have no yeah. problem extending If need that. be. Exactly. Exactly. I'll smack a motherfucker in they shit. And I'm not even that person, but <laughs> I do it though. So yeah, that's what I learned. Yeah, no, that is, I, I love that lesson because that is something I recently just learned, like being not only comfortable, comfortable with yourself, but having the willpower and knowing that you have the right to stand up for your environment. Like I keep hearing it around me in different articles, my wife's work, like the people that you rock with determine your reality like how 100%. comfortable you feel the energy around you like you gotta you gotta safeguard that shit you really do and the more you do like the more comfortable you are i like that word willpower i like that you use that right there that was a very potent very potent use of vocabulary hey yo i appreciate it man i mean my wife is a psychologist so we be chopping it up and she be uh, dropping knowledge on me so that's beautiful but yeah for real like the, it's easy to like talk mad shit to yourself when like that that uh that opposite opposition's not in front of you but when it's come when the time comes like somebody's in your chat talking wild wow i see a lot of people full man like just yep. like ha, 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 try to laugh it off yep. you gotta call that shit out yeah. and you know what shout out to the homie boss because we were i forgot what we i think we were playing boulders gate and to one thing that i hate what motherfuckers do i just it just irks me when motherfuckers say pause to shit yeah, like it's it's like no homo. Yes, that shit. I fucking hate that shit. I'm like, stop that. You should Come be comfortable with your sexuality, you soft ass. Please. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and so somebody did that in chat, and boss did not let it slide. He called it out during live stream. And I'm like, that's why I rock with this dude. Like, he does not, he's not afraid to be himself and to a fault. Like, he's like, this yeah. is me 
you fuck with it or not, I don't give exactly. a fuck. Like, exactly. Like, if, if the pause thing, to me, it's literally just as a joke. You shouldn't be fucking yes. using that as in every, like, you say something and you're like, pause. Like, you eating a fucking glizzy and you like, pause. Nigga, no, I'm eating, bro. This is It's like shit. you're eating the sandwich. The we understand. <laughs> It's a big ass sign of immaturity to me. I yeah. fucking hate that. I'm like, yo, you gotta yep. stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't do that in my presence. That's dope. Well, fuck it, man. Like, let's say a young, inspiring streamer walks up to you or they're in your chat and they're like, yo, King, I love what you do. How the fuck? Where do I start? Like, what type of advice would you have for me? I got a good computer, so we don't gotta worry about that shit, but I wanna start okay. streaming. What kind of advice would you give to them? Don't fucking pour your money into a crazy 3,000, 5,000 setup because that, uh, you know, cost of living is different. Where I come from in Ohio, that is a lot of money. Hell yeah. 3,000 to $5,000. That's a, that's probably six months of rent type shit. Damn. So it's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. At the least, like you, you shouldn't be doing that dog unless you truly have passion and understand how to navigate your shit like how to market yourself and bring in that income back because you shouldn't be doing that. You should not, you should, cause it's going to overtake everything. So make sure your setup isn't burning your fucking pockets. Just make sure you got a cool setup. If you stream and a lot of people do this stream off their consoles first. 100%. So making sure that that's, that's just once I just want that to be a primary, the financing. Yes. Like, make sure you finance yourself correctly. I started my shit with a little $20 condenser mic, and the only reason why I was able to get that shit off Amazon was because Mikey, somebody's really close to me. He's like a fucking father to me. He had a $25 Amazon gift card he gave to me, and that was the reason why I was able to buy that little ass mic, and I used to hold that shit close to my mouth because it could not pick up shit. But, uh, God damn. But that shit did numbers, though. Second to that, and this honestly would slot over it once you you know you already got your setup and everything like that this is where the actual meat comes in make sure that you are okay with who you are know you're gonna learn know you're gonna get different people you're gonna get haters you're gonna get people who encourage you you're gonna get everyday homies who just want to come by and vibe there's you're not gonna fucking get every single thing that you want to and what you think you're gonna get you're gonna get a whole world of people no you're not broadcasted to the whole world like you know they're all eyes on you type shit like you're jumping on fucking mtv live or some shit you know anything like that but right realize that you are going you're putting you are literally outside butt naked yeah and walking around a crowd of people who might congregate with you or might not so be okay with certain things Know how to talk, know how to always be active, always say something, always speak your mind on things. Know that if it is, you know, there's PC shit and stuff like that. There's certain things that people don't vibe with. So no, don't take the opportunity to make it the world and everything revolves around you because then you just seem like a black hole right. and you're trying to suck in and destroy everything. Mm -hmm. Make sure you acknowledge that there's other people out there. There's other things out there. There's shit like that. Don't make that your whole personality to where you're trying to be so sensitive and you're trying to not, oh, I don't want to bother people and blah, 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 blah. Like realize <laughs> this is your content. Realize what you're trying to put out. Realize who the individual is and be okay with that shit, dog. Be fine with that. Also get you a schedule. Do not fucking, oh, yeah. don't have you, don't have your mods out here not knowing when you're going to go live. Cause that's important as fuck. These motherfuckers, their mods will be saying like, I don't know when you go live. Yeah. They should know when you go live, they should know right. the time frame. They should know the days they should legitimately. Why else did you make them mods? And that also comes to your community. When you woke up in the morning or anything in the afternoon, feeling like P Diddy motherfucker, like <laughs> <laughs> you knew what shows was coming on, on the television. That should be the exact same for you. You are an entertainer. You should stay with that and you should be okay with that days that you're tired as fucking shit like that. Communicate that with your community, you know, say exactly. that to them, vocalize it or type it out, discord, anything, whatever it is, that's your main focus. So make sure you're doing that with people. Stay on the games you like. If you're a gamer, stay on the topics you like, 
be willing to go out your comfort zone. That should be why you even came on this. You should be comfortable getting out your comfort zone. Not comfortable, because that sounds ridiculous. You should be okay, <laughs> you should be okay with venturing out your comfort zone. Because yeah. it, it shouldn't just be, I'm just used to this. That is too old school, G. That is way hmm. too old school. That's okay. That's perfectly fine, too. Like, But when somebody says something to you that for some reason resonates... Listen to that. Listen to them dings and shit. Why does that resonate? Why are the wavelengths kind of hitting me? You ain't got to do it. And you ain't got to jump to it like an instance, like, you know, like a if you just heard the, the snap of the fingers, you ain't got to do that, <laughs> man. You, you ain't got to do that shit because this is you're doing it for your, you. It's you. You are the you are the import, export and everything. So why should I bring you to my country? Why should I take in? to my country type shit like that's how i'm exactly thinking. so yeah i love that yeah focus focus on that and really acknowledge that when you're going through something take your break let your community know get your mental right love your family love yourself hell yeah yo king you're just a wealth of knowledge goddamn <laughs> <laughs> i'm just a craig I, <laughs> I forget no 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 Look, listen like because that this is what i i think is awesome about all of our little clicks like and i always go to boss because that's my dude he will not hesitate to roast you like don't slip in his yep. chat like yep. you're gonna get roasted but he is a, one of the most loving people that i know like i big love ass to, softy. i love to fuck out brother boss he needs to be yeah, coming man. down sometimes i'm like hey you ain't got to be on 12 all the time. Exactly. Look, hey, chill out, bro. Yeah. Chill out. <laughs> I love that. Ah, oh, his energy is ridiculous. I don't understand how he does it. Yeah. King, where can the people find your content? So for me, it's like a, it's nice. It's a nice stagnant, clean slate. Mm -hmm. Twitch, Instagram, Twitter. Those are the main three. That's the wombo combo. I don't try to take myself. And this should actually go with the last thing. Two, don't put too much on your plate. Don't try to fucking go all across the board. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, whatever the fuck else, Snapchat, all this shit. Like, chill out. Find out certain things that you can keep yourself at and be active mm -hmm. at. And those are yeah. my three main active ones. And then Discord, I feel like it's its own thing because that's where I chill with my community. Trying to get back to being in there, just hopping in the voice chat and vibing and doing my editing and shit. But it's kind of I'm just not comfortable. I had a whole bunch of shit happen to me in life and I'm just not, yeah. it's, it's not anybody else. It's just me. And that's the reason why, like I said earlier, it's just me. Like I, I'll get there a hundred percent. I'm very close to it. So right. it definitely fine. It, it's three. Isn't the magic number. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> that's just his. Yeah, like. It's just mine. It's just mine. So <laughs> find out your magic number. If it is one, which it should be just one, but find out mm -hmm. what your social platforms are and be okay with that and keep on being active on it so it's definitely twitch instagram twitter hell yeah and is alakazam king on all of them yep or, or king alakazam king alakazam's on my twitter but definitely it's gonna have the same name the alakazam king you type that shit in you're gonna find me put it in google you're gonna find me <laughs> and i will have links on the uh, show notes and in the video and all that good stuff so uh don't worry you will be able to find it just look at the damn title of the the podcast and just search that okay other than that if you know anyone out there who loves listening to podcasts loves listening to conversation and especially loves listening to conversation between creators share this podcast with them Uploaded and unfiltered. I'm on your podcast catcher of choice. Um, I'm everywhere. Search it, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a rating. I would love that. Appreciate it. Other than that, King, thank you once again for doing this show with me. I love this conversation. I can't wait to go back and edit it and cut some of these gems out. God damn it. But I appreciate you. This is just a normal conversation. I appreciate this. This was amazing. Thank you so much for hitting me up. I really want to be hit up for anything else. Anybody who wants to do creation with me on stuff, as long as we're on homie shit. Hell yeah. This was yeah. nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. No no problem at all. My goal like, has been for the last six months like to start working more with my homies and make content because we there's a lot of behind the scenes magic that happens in like Discord chats and DMs. And I'm like, yo, we need to start sharing this shit with the world. So right? here we are doing that. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. No problem at all. Again, thank everyone who's listening. I appreciate you. Protect your mental. Keep creating content. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.